All right, everyone, this is game number four. Let's just get started. Mochi, the player in black on the bottom, as you guys know, and San, the player in red on the top. And so let's see how this game turns out right now. <laughs> Sam's in the lead, six to zero. Mochi is the super underdog. I can't wait until he makes a comeback. As you guys can see from the video right now, we are 33 minutes into the 1 hour 59. So I'm very, very curious to see who's going to win this round. I can't wait to see Mochi's comeback. So let's get started. So just like before, each player rolls a single die. Sam rolls a five, Mochi rolls a two. So Sam gets the first move. He's advancing his units forward. Mochi unfortunately did an illegal uh, roll because one of the die lands on by Mochi rolled a five and a one and it's now moving up uh, his advancing his pieces of Sam rolls a four and a five to capturing Mochi's pieces and potentially moving this guy forward five spaces now does he want to do that and he, it looks like he does that is the safest move right now as Mochi can get off the board then next turn Mochi rolls a one and a three we're tripling up the one section moving three Sam rolls a double two he's gonna move one of his pieces out and it's gonna reinforce yes he reinforces it he has one more move that he can do right now and he decides to reinforce this little bit right here now Mochi in return rolls a two and a three reinforcing his double two right here and Sam rolls a double five man what's up with these double fives this game this is like the fourth double fives we've seen so sam now reinforcing his uh quadrant position right here and mochi rolls a one and six such a lucky roll he gets out he can move out wow he landed a one right here and then moves this unit six spaces forward now sam's thinking does he want to double i don't think so not right now and sam rolls a three and a five. Oh, this is nice this is nice now sam can move this five spaces forward yes and i think he's gonna move that three yes he does move that three that is the best move right now all right mochi rolls a six and a two now i believe he could take this spot i think two or six yes he can take that yes and he's gonna reinforce it. i bet you he's gonna move this over here to reinforce this quadrant yes he does <laughs> and so oh my gosh let's see what's going on right here this is an amazing game does he want to commit to that move we don't know yet now the thing is he can do it but sam does have a chance to get out if he rolls a 10 a 5 and another 5 next round somehow if he rolls a 5 and a 5 this piece gets taken right here and so does mochi want to risk that now the odds of rolling a double five yes it is not that high but there's still a chance those double fives have been very good luck as of late and mochi knowing that decides to advance his Further. Now, does he want to do this move? Moving this uh, A6? Yes, he does. Now, that gives Sam the chance of capturing uh, one of these pieces, but unfortunately, Sam did not roll a 4. He rolled a 5 and a 1, but he did capture Mochi's other piece that just was in the inner board. Mochi rolled a 3 and 4, which he cannot get out because of Sam's uh, position placement right here. Sam rolls a three, a three. He's gonna move at one now. Mochi has two pieces on the bar. Now Mochi has to move both pieces, but unfortunately he only rolled a three and a two, and only the two can get out. Now it's a Sam's roll four and a five. <laughs> Sam's gonna advance that piece forward. He's gonna advance that piece forward. He doesn't need to worry right now. Mochi still has to get one of his pieces off the board, and he can now. He can move. He has to move this at the two position now the question is what else does he move next the only other pieces that he is allowed to move is one of those uh, these three sections right here and now he's thinking uh, i mean granted he could take sam's piece he could take the one right here but that leaves himself vulnerable with two uh two single occupied tiles does Mochi want to do that? I don't know. Now, yes, he could take Sam's piece, but that will give Sam the ability to come back over here. And if Mochi tries to move any other piece forward, like I said, he has to move one of these three tiles, one space forward, which get, makes it a little bit more vulnerable if Mochi takes that one red piece. It looks like he's going to opt to do that. Oh, oh, I miscalculated. <laughs> I miscalculated, guys. I'm sorry. I was thinking he had to move one space. No, if he does move one first, then he can move two. But again, like I said, that leaves these two 
piece is vulnerable. Does he want to leave those two pieces vulnerable right now? Who knows? Again, that gives Sam a better chance of capturing at least one of those pieces. Tough decision. Tough decision. Okay. But at least Mochi knows. So here's, here's the good thing. At least Mochi knows that for Sam to even capture these two pieces, one of these... Uh, Four groups right here has to break off a singular piece to capture. Reason being is because Sam needs to be able to roll into these uh, five tiles right here to get off of the bar. Oh, this is such a high. This is an okay, so Mochi decides to double up and move that piece forward, not uh, not taking Sam's piece. Which might be a good move. Now Sam rolls a four and six. Four and a six. Unfortunately, Sam cannot move this base. It's units because right here, and I don't think he wants to. But now, where does the move six and four go? Decides to double up right here. Decides to bring more pieces into his inner quadrant. Sam rolls a one and a six. Where would Sam move? It's a one and a six. Man, that's a dangerous move. That's a dangerous move. It's so Sam's deciding to move this space. Six units here, the one unit here. But that leaves two singular tiles, or two singular checker pieces open for Mochi to come in and grab. Does he want to do that? Yes, Sam can move this one space forward. But again, still leaves one of these two pieces open. Oh, this is a hard move for Sam. Sam cannot move this space. Six or one space forward. He cannot move one and six, so he cannot move this just to land on one of these. So Sam decides to open this tile up. Allowing Mochi to move out, but Mochi decides to strengthen his position, potentially? Yes. And rolls a 2 and a 3. Now he has to get this singular piece out of the way to protect him, and he does. And Mochi decides to move again. Six. That space, two spaces forward. Does this space six space forward? Yes. Yes. No? Does he? Does he want to... Uh, move these two pieces up two and six if he does he's gonna have more pieces uh, closer to his home quadrant right here that might be the better move moving these two right here two spaces six spaces once he moves these guys out of the way he's no longer in danger of Sam's two red pieces down here one that's advantageous because it makes more uh, more of his Checker piece is closer to him. But it does allow Sam to break off uh, these pieces freely because it's much harder um, for Mochi to take it from these positions right here. He would have to roll six uh, minimum just to capture one of these pieces if Sam decides to break one of the pieces off. As long as Mochi stays here, then if Sam breaks off one piece, then at least he's one space away from capturing Sam's additional red piece if Sam does not. Nice to move these two right here into too closer into his own quadrant, inner quadrant. No? Alright, so he took he took that route. He took this route. <laughs> He took the route. He's deciding to allow Sam to freely move a little safer around. Mochi, make up your mind. <laughs> make up your mind, Mochi. Okay, so Mochi decides to strengthen his face. Now Sam rolls a two and a five. Now what Sam could do is move these spaces, two spaces over, five space here. But remember, it's always a good idea to keep a couple checker pieces in the back just in case Mochi decides to break off some of the tiles. So now Sam, what are you going to do? You, you can move this two spaces forward and then five space right here to land on your innermost tile right here. 
just to avoid breaking off. He cannot move this. I mean, he could move this five spaces as well. So here, two, four, five, and then move this two spaces over. I don't know, Sam. That's a risky move. That's a risky move, Sam. Mochi vote. Unfortunately, Mochi is not close enough to capture this piece. Ooh, Sam rolls a three and a one. So Sam can actually protect his little single. Yes, move that a three, move that one four. Yes. Uh, Mochi, three and a one. Now, the best move here is just to move your pieces closer. Keep these guys where they are. Just in case Sam is forced to break off one of his tiles, then Mochi has an opportunity to capture his pieces. So Mochi right now is biding his time, trying to reinforce these tiles right here just in the just in the situation where if the situation occurs where mochi can capture sam's tile then he's in a very good position then he can freely move his pieces around the board Sam rolling a three and five he's a, he's about to break some of his tile pieces up he's gonna have to break it soon he's running out of pieces and in this game you are forced to move pieces Ooh, and he cannot move this. He can move this five. Five. But then the question is, where do you move three? Does he want to risk putting the three here? And, and See, the danger is putting this here. Now, he could move that three here, but now the danger is the next roll. Whatever roll Sam has next turn has to be a small roll just so that he can move these guys out of the way into this piece right here but sam's time is limited he's about to break up one of these three group tile sets right here and that will give mochi the chance that he's been looking for right now mochi is going to reinforce these right here so again just like i said if there's a position available for for mochi to capture then that is Unfortunately, Sam, he has to move this five spaces. He cannot move that four. And if he moves this four and five, that leaves this singular one open. This is what I'm talking about. Now he's forced to break something. He's forced to break one of his one of his tiles. He's forced to break one. And that is the danger. This is why you want to keep some pieces behind and plan a couple steps ahead. Now Sam it might be in the defense now. Sam is going to be on the defense. Mochi has two opportunities to capture this tile set right here. That checker feet. Oh, man, my heart. <laughs> this is a tough game. The good thing is Sam is far enough from these two. That it doesn't mean anything. It's anyone's game at this point. If Mochi even rolls a six, he can break up this tile set and capture this right here so Sam what are you gonna do do you risk that or do you decide to break up this piece right here and just move one piece over and that's what Sam decides to do but I don't know if that's a good idea either well, Mochi just needs to roll a total of a four or he needs to roll a three eight just to move these Now, Mochi, is he going to decide to double up? Mochi is in a very good position for a capture only. Now, does it mean that he's in a good position overall? If Mochi fails to capture this next roll, then Mochi, Mochi's on the defense. He has to have really good rolls, double sixes, three in a row. He has to have three double sixes in a row just to catch up to Sam's position. So the question is, does Mochi feel lucky enough to capture this singular piece if he does he should double if he doesn't he should just leave it the way it is but unfortunately if he doesn't move his pieces over into his home base right here and get a single tile set out this is a minimum a gammon game earn sam two points if he oh, no. mochi what are you going to do are you going to double 
Are you going to double? If you double, you do get the chance. And Mochi decides to double. He feels lucky, guys. He is feeling lucky. Hit that Google button. I'm feeling lucky today. Oh, Sam, are you going to take this? Are you going to take this? If Sam takes this, then... Oh, I hope he takes this. This is going to be an amazing game. Because if he cannot roll a 1 or 2 his next turn, he is stuck allowing Mochi to reinforce these two positions even further or move his pieces forward. That means Sam will be on the defense for the time being. Oh. Sam, 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 what are you going to do? You're in a very good position. All you need is two pieces into your home quadrant. Then you can start taking pieces out. But it's Mochi's role. And anything can happen with this single piece. This is... Oh, man. This is, this is fun. What are you going to do, Sam? Are you going to take it? Or are you going to give Mochi that one point? You are in the position... You are somewhat in the lead right now. If Mochi fails to capture you, you're in the lead. Do you want to risk two points? Again, you are six points in the lead. You can afford to lose a couple points uh, here and there. And I honestly think that that might be a good gamble because in the case that Mochi fails to capture you, you may potentially win with an additional two points, making you eight points out of the nine required to win the match sam this might be a good gamble for you oh sam is conflicted he knows he knows that if he does lose this round that means mochi is catching up he will be two points closer to catching up to sam and this is the beginning of the mochi comeback sam 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 Oh, anyways, the one thing I really like about these games is that it's so fast paced. But as, as I'm watching this live, there's a lot of things that I'm missing. And it looks like Sam is about to take it. Did Sam take it? Is Sam, in, is Sam going to risk losing or gaining two points? Again, he's in that six point lead. But like I said, guys, this game is so fast paced that sometimes I do lose track of what's going on because I'm trying to catch up. And oh man sam this is a mind game right here you got to be confident sam take the two take the two just take it you can do it sam it's thinking hard you can hear sam he just said wow he's he's conflicted oh man Come on, Sam. Sam, 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 what are you going to do? Take the two. I've, I I, mean, I, if I've, I'm ahead, six points. But you're up against Mochi. Mochi's known to make a good comeback. Sam decides to forfeit. Sam decides to forfeit. That gives Mochi one point to his score. That's a good move as well. Oh man, the Mochi, one point, one point, that was an amazing game, one point. Oh man, Mochi, this is the beginning of the Mochi comeback. Ah, oh, at least Mochi has a point now. Ah, oh, that was an amazing game, guys. So that was game number four. Game number five is coming up soon. Ah, oh, now the score is six to one, Sam to Mochi. Mochi just got that single point. That was an amazing game. Oh man, that that was that was a good game. That was a good game. And guys, this is a prime example of why you want to hold some pieces behind just for that situation. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's cast. I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this series. Again, this is Mochi's YouTube video, so do check his YouTube uh, videos out. He has a lot of incredible games. Uh, it was his videos that really got me hooked into the game of backgammon. And so, um, this is just an amazing board game. And, I, and I'm really hoping that uh, this game uh, becomes super, super popular in years to come. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this again. 
and stay gammoned.